to make sure uh, that you're helping out. Uh, please don't make us go to a point that we get frustrated and say, all right, y'all are going to just have to pay for this now. Uh, start clicking on that button once in a while. It doesn't matter how much. You might only be able to afford $2, but then there might be a member that can afford $200. So take the time to, to donate, please. That's important. Now that I've said that and I've got that out of the way, let's get that bot downloaded. So where do we keep the newest bot? Well, we just go right down here, get the newest bot files and info here. Tech stuff. Click on tech stuff. And then we just simply go down. Unless you really know what you're doing, I don't want you messing with beta. Stay away from beta. The installer, uh, installer version, that's probably the easiest for most people. But right now, this training video is for the, uh, for the main version, the stable version. I want you to just simply click on updated stable version here. And then we're going to go right here. I personally... You do what you want to do. You, you have two choices here, either, either the stable version with images or without. I like images, so I'm going to click on that. Automatically, it comes up, save the file. For the sake of this video, I've actually already done this. You need to click OK. I'm just going to go ahead and cancel because it's already there. All right, I'm going to close this out and I'm going to minimize and here we go here is the stable version downloaded alright now we've already installed the rare program so all we need to do is double click on that uh, stable version and tell it to extract to and then tell it OK now pay attention here you wanna make sure it's going before the file name, this is file name from Cafe Bot to the the end here. Make sure it's going to your desktop. If it isn't, all you got to do is click on desktop, okay, and it will save it to your desktop. Now, obviously, I don't want them scattered all over, so I would want to do, uh, let's say, uh, backslash, not the forward slash and then maybe bot. How's that? Alright. Now I can click OK. And that's going to put it right here. That's the first empty spot on my desktop. So I'm going to hit click OK. And now it's extracting that folder to my desktop. As we see, it's already started to create that folder and install the files into that folder. Uh, I'm going to take a pause here just a second while this actually finishes up all right so we've done that it's been extracted as we can see here there's the folder we uh, created called bot so now all I need to do in WinRare here is go ahead and close it out and the folders there now I don't need Win the WinRare download or the cafe bot uh, rare file download anymore so what I'll do is just go ahead and, and delete those and get rid of them they're off my desktop two more uh, two more files off of there we don't need any more on there than we have to have alright so now we have this folder I want you to right click on it and you're gonna click left click on cut alright then you're gonna go to your start uh, menu you're gonna go to your computer you're going to double click on your C drive and anywhere out here uh, in your white space you're going to right click and you are going to left click on paste that will move that file off of your desktop see it's gone and it now put it in your C drive uh, it dropped it to the bottom that's only because uh, it's going to go to the last place uh, if I was to actually close out of here real quick and then go back to C drive real quick again well 
Ah, there it is, right at the very top. Uh, we have that right there at the top. So what I need you to do at this point is just double click on that folder and it creates all of this. This is all the contents of the bot folder. All right. Uh, originally when I did this video I wasn't going to go into the plugins but I'm going to go ahead and do that too but we'll do that in a second alright so cafe world bot if you look there's a little icon here and it says cafe world bot and if we look over here to the right it says application that's the folder we want I want you to right click on that and then I want you to go to send to and then just simply slide over to desktop and on desktop create shortcut I want you to left click on that alright that now sent look here it sent a shortcut to this program file alright right here on my desktop alright now and actually I'm not gonna I'll explain this and later on you'll get a better understanding. Uh, inside plugins we have beverage, cafe info, catering, chat, collections, feed, a feed sheet, and so forth. We have all of the plugins in here. All right. Now let's say I didn't use cafe info and I didn't use catering and I'd say I didn't use chat and I didn't use feed sheet uh, and I didn't use help uh, and I didn't use link collector and so forth. Alright, I could easily, easily hold down the control button and click on each one of those as I did and then simply right click and tell it to cut again. Alright, and then what I could do, and I'm not going to do that right now, but then what I could do is uh, right click in a white space again and go to new folder and then I could make a folder that said oh let's say I don't use okay then I could double click that folder right click and paste left click paste all of those that I don't use in there okay uh, things that aren't important to me we're not going to do that for the sake of this uh, video because I really don't want to get too confusing to you guys uh, for right now let's just leave all the plugins there you're using them all don't matter anyhow right alright so we've created our shortcut uh, so we'll just go ahead and close out of here alright so now we're back to our desktop well now we got to get ready to start using the bot so what I want you to do is go to Internet Explorer and the very first time I want you to go to your Facebook account. Alright, so we're going to go to Facebook. You're going to, once you get to Facebook, you are going to enter your email. Now, I, mine, I didn't get rid of my, my data there, but uh, uh, whatever the case may be, you're going to get ready to log in. You're going to make sure you click Keep Me Logged In, and then you're going to tell it to log in. All right. Once this actually loads your Facebook page, when your Facebook page is in here, all right, go ahead and just close it. You're done. That's all you needed. All right. Now we're going to start the bot. So we double click on the shortcut we created. You may get some of these warning windows. That's fine. Uh, we'll tell it OK. Now here is an important thing. If you truthfully did a clean install, you better be getting this how to use screen right here. All right. If you didn't do a clean install, you're not going to get this. So the idea is make sure you get this. If you didn't, 
go back and start over and do it again because this is an important screen to see all right well, now once you see this screen go ahead and just tell it to close all right and now we are going to one last time type in our Facebook information in here once we've entered in our login information we're going to click on keep me logged in and tell it to log in the bot will now start to load now we're going to start seeing some changes going on here and we need to wait for that little button right here that says close game page uh, and I'll show you why we need that here in just a second as soon as it loads all right as you can see here we now have the close game page what that means is do you see down here this is all your uh, Facebook cafe world uh, stuff here all right and flash drags down it drags it y'all so what you need to do is click this close game page uh, tab right here so we're gonna click that and now that we've clicked on that close game page do you see what happened here all of that uh, flash stuff went away all right it's all gone uh, and that will make your bot run a hundred percent faster if you if you remember to click that when you load up uh, the cafe bot now this is a personal setting for me what I like to do is go over here and grab that little thing and move it over there a little bit and now that gives me a bigger window to see what the bots actually doing and then I like using extend